Okay, so this is a video about composites. A composite chart is the merging of two horoscopes into one. It started off as an idea 100, 150 years ago through the work of Reinhard Ebertin with his work on midpoints. Highly uh, controversial at the time, now seen as dry, but nevertheless very important in certain ways. From midpoints, which is, you know, the principle of midpoints, okay, the midpoint of the sun and moon uh, is where you're, you're at your most integrated. The midpoint of Mars and Pluto can be where you're at your most physically projective and assertive. The midpoint of Venus and Neptune is where you're at your most artistically sensitive, for example. Makes sense. But from this came the idea of taking midpoints between two individuals' charts. Consequently, if you have person A with the sun, at 10 degrees of Aries and person B with the Sun at 10 degrees of Gemini then the midpoint of that is going to be 10 degrees of Taurus halfway between the two therefore the composite Sun is at 10 degrees of Taurus now the composite method can be used for a number of different purposes, but it has two or three prime functions. It's, it's, it's fine for fun when looking at your interactions with other and others in community and friend. Great, you can learn a lot from looking at the different ways in which the composite suggests that you get on with individuals and then ref seeing if that reflects in the reality around you. There's the composite charts of individuals within the boundaries of family. And to see how children get on with parents or with each other, or in, I have to be honest, in one or two cases, how children get on with um, animals. I've had clients who have got me to do the horoscopes for their animals with that of their children to see whether they're going to get on or not. That is surreal, but true. I often do composite charts for business purposes, whether two people, not only if they work together in terms of synastry, how they get on, but how the output of the two of them is put together in, 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 uh, into the outside world. And of course, composite charts in terms of personal and intimate relationships. And, and it is lucky dip. You know, often when you get midpoints, because a lot of people are born with the sun very close to Mercury and Venus, then this is reflected in the composite chart. And often in the composite chart, there will be strong groupings of planets, one or two strong groupings of planets. Um, this is much more so than an individual chart. And it is not the signs that work in composite charts in terms of definition of character of the relationship. It is much more the houses. The composite charts show ways in which two individuals can work together in a syner synastric and synergetic way that is mutually complementary and mutually advantageous. For example, if the couple in question, if the two individuals in question are working together, they go, I've got a really good idea. But you look at the joint chart, there's a lot of stuff in the 11th house of group and community. Then be sure that their output is going to benefit them in the eyes of the uh, local and global community. But it's also going to be benefit a group of other people as well. If it's a group of activity in the chart, in say in the collective third house, then the output of the two people is going to be designed towards being media driven or communicative or informative in some way. If it's, however, in the second house or the 10th house, then there's going to be much more of the career and the professional aspect. And of course, if the focus of the composite chart is very much around the seventh house, then you're looking much more at the quality of really good friendship and potentially personal and intimate development. The composite chart is good for looking at the planets and seeing in which houses of the horoscope they fall in. That's a really good tool. And to a lesser extent, to a minor extent, the aspects in the composite chart are interesting, especially the, the conjunctions and the oppositions. It is the transits of the planets in the heavens to the composite chart that activate the potentials for relationship development, regardless of the nature of that relationship. And this can, uh, is interesting and should be worked on 
in your own space and time. Catch you later. Bye.